Australian National Criterion Champs men's race. I'm going to do the women's tomorrow. Uh, this is hard footage to get. But anyway, Caleb Ewan is back racing for Jaco. So you can see here, Jaco are very aggressive. Sam Wellstead in the break as well, riding for Bora. Those kind of big ones. Jensen Plower out who rides for Alperson Taconic also present as well. But realistically, as always, it's the Jaco show. They decide who gets in the break and they decide who's going to win. So this is the circuit. Just two uh, dead turns going into an uphill finish here. If you look near the back, you'll see Caleb Ewan. He does this quite a lot in crits. He just minces at the back. One other teammate to help him move up towards the end. Um, but we skip forward a little bit. And this is where Caleb Ewan actually decides to attack. This is kind of like 20 laps to go. So maybe 40 minutes left. He just decides, ciao, ciao, boys. I think this is probably just stretching his legs. He moved to the front pretty easy. Um, and now he's just attacked. I mean, everyone's kind of just like watching, like, what are we going to do? Um, luckily for him, there's a lot of Aussie, well, for Sam Wellsford, there's a lot of Aussie Conti boys who want to get in the break, so they're going to attack across. And you can see here, though, his teammates then uh, bridge up to him again. This is further on, and again, they're attacking a lot. It's just general attacking from Jayco. They didn't really achieve much except binning um, some of the other riders, but I guess they made it a harder race, which maybe suits Caleb. More explosive out the corners probably is better for him over Sam Wellsford. But again, you can see, like, just round the hot dog, uh, around the bottom corner, just whacking it out, um, well, I guess top corner, and then they descend down. So it's kind of an odd course because uh, it really is just super punchy. And like on the on this downhill, like half the time, they're not even pedaling. Again, you can see like this split is still happening. Jaco really driving it, trying to keep Caleb Ewan in good position. Caleb Ewan here is like to further towards the back. So this is like a couple laps to go. Um, and his teammates are on the front. So there's a split lead out, which I think is quite classic these days. You get two or, two or three people on the front, and then you have another three lead out behind. Um, so they can come and you can see like Jaco are behind Sam Wellsford, which I think really makes sense. You come with speed. Obviously, it's big risk because there's actually not many places to move up on this on this course because obviously you've got the corners where people can dive bomb okay. But otherwise, it's hard to move up in, in, uh, in there. And then half the course is downhill. The other half is uphill where it's really hard to move up because you just got to output energy. But you can see um, Kelly Wynn's telling his boys to get around him. He's now third wheel um, and he has big faith in them. Again, here it's like... The Jaco guys are so strong, like, no one's going to get away now. I think Sam Hill or someone attacked for St. George Continental, but, like, didn't really achieve anything uh, just because the guys on the front are so, so strong. So, again, you can see here, like, people attacking, but just nothing's going. Um, and on this uphill, again, it's really, really easy if you're strong just to absolutely, to close it quick um, and make it hurt for everyone else. So now they're just down to Lucas Hamilton on the front for Jaco. Caleb Ewan's still far back. He's just he's just relaxed. You can see, like, from his body language, he seemed pretty confident. I mean, he attacked. Um, you can see Rudy Porter's ahead of him with Blake Quick. Um, both of those two are his lead-out man, just behind Sam Wellsford. You really notice how big Sam Wellsford is. He's actually a huge unit. He does a lot of watts, though. He's seen 1,800 watts on his Strava, so he's definitely very, like, strong in terms of pure sprint. Um, and I think he'll probably have a good year in Bora, especially on the faster sprints uh, in UAE Tour, for example, just because he's got so many watts. Um, and I'm not sure how big his threshold is, but definitely on a flat base, he'll, he'll go well for sure. I think Caleb Ewan will look good um, this year in Jaco. I think, obviously, mentally, it's a better place than Lotto. Lotto seems to have some difficulties um, with him. They weren't necessarily mega positive, but now he's back, I think. Uh, he also apparently slagged off his bike, said the propel's a lot lighter than the, the Noah, which I guess makes sense. Um, but again, it goes to show, like, the good, the right, I mean, the right place can be good for... A rider you can see here again, just near the back, following Caleb Ewan seems just so calm compared to everyone else around Jensen Plowright. And I was kind of like, this is a bit risky maybe because they've only got a couple laps to go. Um, and he's still a long, long, long way back. Um, and you can see people here are really fighting for position, actually. Uh, Cyrus Monk for Q36.5 is moving up on the left-hand side behind Dylan Hopkins, who's Ljubljana, who writes for Ljubljana. And now they're starting to go. You can see Jaco had decided right. This is the last, I think this is the last lap, basically. It's time to absolutely launch it. So you can see it, they're moving up on the outside of the bunch and it makes quite a lot of sense, to be honest, um, to try and move up here just because if you've got more gas, you can do it. And you're about to see some absolute 360 moves from KW and watch him go through this corner. Around here, you'll see his lead, slightly loses his lead out. The camera actually pans away, but he managed to slot through a gap um, in between Jensen Plowright and the um, Oceana National Champ or Continental Champ kit who's in white. They kind of miss it around this corner. And when it comes out uh, down here, it's fast downhill. Caleb Ewan's, I think, third wheel at the moment. And it's just like chow chow. Once you get up to speed here, um, sorry, fourth wheel, got a uh, bridge lane rider ahead. And you can see here, like, once the Jayco boys really start leading out, no one else is close. It's just a fight for him, for his wheel. Jensen Plowright looks like he's winning it at the moment. 
Uh, Sam Wellsford, not the best position you can see here. Caleb being so relaxed going into the last corner, tightens his shoe. Again, he's got full trust in the lead out. I think it's Blake Quick, who's his last man. Um, and round this corner, it's just like there's only one one winner. He's really light compared to most sprinters, KB. And so going up this drag, um, especially from a low speed, accelerating out of it. Big crash on the right-hand side here. He's just got a lot more gas than everyone else, um, which is kind of a bit, a bit oily, this crash. Uh, camera goes wild. Uh, we don't really know what happens. All I do know is that Caleb Ewan starts launching it. And it's pretty obvious he's won from this point. You can see his people celebrating behind. He won by a good couple bike lengths. And uh, yeah, KB looks back to his best. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Going to have the women's race tomorrow. It's good to be back on road and not watching side cross anymore because that stuff cracks me.